Hello! In this lecture, we are going to learn how to perform the binomial test in R. Uh, this test is used when our variable of interest is dichotomous. And it compares an observed distribution with a theoretical one and tells us whether there are significant differences between the two distributions. You probably know that already. I'm going to use uh, the data frame demo that contains information about a sample of car owners. And I'm going to check whether the male-female proportion in the total population is 50-50. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a counts table for the variable gender using the function table. This table will be called my table. So let's run this and let's print our table. It's very simple. So we have 250 female subjects and 260 male subjects. Now let's run the binomial test using the function binom test from the stats package. First of all, we have to specify our counts table, which is called my table. Then the theoretical proportion, which is 0 0.50 in our case. I'm going to request an alternative test. Uh, sorry, I'm going to request a two-sided test. So the alternative option will be set to two-sided. And the confidence level will be set to 0.95, which is the default. OK, let's clear the console first and now let's run the binomial test. OK. So, the probability of success for our situation is 0.4901. You can see it here. This probability is computed by dividing the number of successes, 250, to the total number of trials, 510. The number of successes is equal to the number of female in the, uh, in the data frame, in the group. Why? Because, as you remember, female is the first category. Uh, let's uh, check that a bit. So, if we divide the number of female subjects, 250, to the total number of cases in the data frame, 510, we get 0 0.4901. And we are going to compare this probability of success with the 50% probability, which is the theoretical probability. The p-value of the binomial test, oh, sorry, first, the null hypothesis is that the true probability of success is equal to uh, 0 0.50. And the alternative hypothesis, shown here, is that the true probability of success is not equal to 0 0.50. The p-value of the binomial test is 0 0.69. It is greater than 5%, so we have to accept the null hypothesis and say that the true probability of success is equal to 0 0.50. The program also shows the 95% confidence interval for the probability of success, which in our case is 0 0.44, 0 0.53. OK, let's clear the console and see what to do if we want to check whether the proportion of male subjects is 60%. In this case here, in the option P of the binomial test, we will put 0 0.40. Why 0 0.40? Because if the proportion of the male subjects is 60%, the proportion of the female subjects is 40%. And, as you know, the probability of success here 
the theoretical probability is equal to the probability of the male of the female subjects, right? So I'm going to run the binomial test in these conditions with a with a forty percent um, theoretical proportion. Okay. So in this case, uh, of course, the probability of success, the real probability of success is the same, 49%, the number of successes divided by the number of trials. But the p-value of the binomial test is clearly lower than 5%. It's very low, even lower than 1%. Okay. So in this case, we are going to reject the null hypothesis and say that the true probability of success is not equal to 40%. So, the proportion of male subjects is not equal to 60%. That's all. Thank you.